All right, so uh, in this chapter, we're uh, starting our discussions on Fourier analysis, okay? And uh, we're going to focus first on periodic signals. So uh, the main essence of Fourier analysis is to utilize the fact that, you know, for most signals that we, uh, we're going to deal with, we will be able to write them as a superposition of complex exponentials, okay? So for most signals that we will deal with, uh, we can write, write them as superpositions of complex exponentials. Now, the advantage, uh, one advantage of doing so is that, you know, when we pass a complex exponential through a linear time invariant system, we know that the output will be the same complex exponential scaled by a value uh, that depends on uh, this exponent s, okay? And this we call the eigenvalue corresponding to the eigenfunction uh, e to the st, okay? And so then if you have a input signal that is the superposition of these complex exponentials, then the output signal would then be the same linear combination of these complex exponentials, just that each one now needs to be scaled by its corresponding eigenvalue. Now, so um, the, key, the key property here is that, you know, we know that for almost all periodic signals uh, that we may encounter in practice, uh, we can always write it as a linear combination of complex exponentials. And in fact, not any set of complex exponentials, but the set of harmonically related complex exponentials. Okay, and this is quite intuitive because suppose that x of t is a periodic signal, uh, meaning that x of t is equal to x of t plus the period capital T for all t, right? So assuming you know that x of t is periodic, then if you say that you can write x of t as a superposition of a bunch of complex exponentials, then it's not hard to imagine that these complex exponentials should also have the same period, capital T, right? It's difficult to compose a signal with period capital T using something that is not of period capital T, okay? All right, <clears throat> so, so therefore, right, for a periodic signal with period capital T, we're going to focus on this set of harmonically related complex exponentials, uh, e to the j k omega naught t, right? So these are complex exponentials with frequency that is an integer multiple of omega naught, which we call the fundamental frequency, okay? And the fundamental frequency omega naught is just 2 pi over the period, capital T, 